Hello everyone, hope you guys are having amazing XRPs around 48 49 cents, guys. Now, there has been a lot of FUD attacks on the XRP community. That's how I know we're close to a bottom. Uh, Bitcoin is around 64k, but if XRP goes below like 47 cents and I see a daily divergence, a bullish, uh, a daily bullish divergence, guys, forming, then I'm buying more XRP. So I'm just waiting patiently to see what happens next. But the sun is definitely shining, right? Isn't it, guys? Right? Summer solstice is here, and guess what happened? Can XRP moon on, on the summer solstice? Well, best I can do is another lawsuit against Ripple, guys. <laughs> right, this tweet, th this is hilarious. Instead of the case concluding, <laughs> another one uh, another one begins, or Brent Rollinghouse is going to trial, guys, right? Well, did Mr. Poole call it? I don't know. <laughs> Now, guys, we're the fun part of XRP and the XRP community. Now, this is called White. Interesting from Mr. Pool. So, today's video, guys, we have a beautiful um, a, uh, S ton of connections here, and it's all going to tie in beautifully. But I'm definitely not bearish right now. Why? Because all season is probably near, and XRP always pumps during that season. So, Mr. Pool did tweet out 620. What, guys? Right. 620. So, it's a little bit strange to me how. That came out yesterday, guys, right? The news um, about the case yesterday. So, could it be just a coincidence? I don't think so. But Brad Garlinghouse came about, guys, and he talked about, or he, he says right here that, as many have noticed, and some have already pointed out, there have been numerous misleading and some factually inaccurate headlines describing the decision made by a California judge yesterday in the class action lawsuit of XRP. I'm happy to see some correcting them. I, I wish I could tag them, link them all here. To be absolutely clear, this is a huge, this is a big win, guys. All class action claims in the suit were dismissed, and absolutely nothing in the decision negates or changes the fact that XRP is in and of itself not a security. Right, as per the New York court decision, guys. So there we go. Again. So no matter what, we're still in in the clear, guys. Right, it's all green lit as of right now. Um. So I don't know why people are worried. Again, this is why I'm buying more XRP if I see under forty seven cents with a bullish divergence right on the daily, and I'm in, guys. Uh, not this is a financial advice. You guys can do whatever you guys wish to, but I'm still in until I see damn all season that happens very soon, I believe. The, the California ruling dismissed all the allegations that Ripple had somehow violated federal securities law by selling XRP. Now this is what's hilarious guys, ready? As for the single state law claim that will now be scheduled for trial, uh, the sole plaintiff didn't buy XRP directly from Ripple and can't say if he even heard the statement before he traded and only owned a couple hundred XRP. Exactly. Right, so the, the guy, the person who's, who's going through with this guys probably lost XRP. Right, uh, didn't even make profits, guys. Right, lost money on XRP, and now he wants to go after supposedly Brad Garlinghouse or someone, guys. Um, now, this was a clear example of the trolls that unsuccessfully tried to take advantage of the NAC's legal system and this, uh, distort the distort statements to seek hundreds of millions in class action settlements. And lastly, regarding any misleading statements, I stand by what I said. And I'm looking forward to shedding light on that during the trial, guys. Right. So that's good, right? But the but the question is, when is this happening? The banks using XRP. Um, the hate for Ripple is strong indeed, guys. Right now, the only reason um it's strong right now, and every time I've seen this happen, guys, right? It happened with Amazon, Tesla, and all these uh, companies, is when. It'll be a household name, and two, it's we're at the bottom or near it, right? Coin desk sigh, crazy. There we go. So, just listen to Brad Garlinghouse words. At least in the Ripple case, is the judge in our case very clearly, succinctly said XRP is not a security. Period. At least in XRP is not a security, guys. Period. But on the other hand, we see Ethereum. Think this development signifies for the industry, if anything at all? Well, it's hard to say. You know, the letter itself was very short. It was very clipped. It said only that the investigation was concluded. No charges were being brought. But it even resisted um, 
uh, it, it disclaimed us drawing any conclusion from it, such as, you know, that they found that Ether was a commodity and not a security. So although it's welcome that the investigation is over, it doesn't go far enough to provide the sort of transparency that the industry really needs. So supposedly the um, consensus doesn't even know why the SEC dropped its own investigation cause, right? Isn't that strange? Yo, well, you tell me. It sure seems like it. Now, down the rabbit hole, maybe it, it ties back to this image, guys, somehow, some way, right? We see Ethereum jumping in, Bitcoin, they're all happily just following following the captain, right? The, the leader. Now, I don't know who went in first, but these people are just looking inside, right? Um, and, and and the coins, these things are just jumping in, guys. But there's but there's a golden egg right here that isn't following suit. People have stated that's XRP. A little bit strange, if you ask me. Um, happy summer solstice, guys. June twenty first, the longest day in the northern hemisphere. Elon posted this uh seven eleven two years ago today, guys. Okay. Oh wow, well, look at that, a delta. Elon's post was connected to the SEC Ripple lawsuit, which st which started on 12-22-2020. Elon's uh, from Elon 711 to 713-23, XRP's victory day was 12 months and 22 days, guys. 12-22. Wow, that's insane if you ask me. Not to mention it ends where it started. 12-21-621. Winter Solstice lawsuit began and the summer uh, for the summer solstice end. Well, actually, what's fascinating is the class action laws, um, the class actions, um, okay, so if you go back here, check this out, right? So it is, it is uh, insane, guys, because remember, it's a big win, he stated that. All class action claims in the suit were dismissed, right? Not for the SEC case, right? But for this other case that's happening right now. So maybe a portion of it did end, guys, right? Which is interesting. Um... 5 plus 8 plus 9 equal 22. It always happens on the 22nd. Hmm. Interesting, guys. Right, the end is just the beginning. Now, we got the strawberry moon today, guys. We got a pump moon today. Right, the beginning of a pump moon. June 21st, as you guys can see right here, which we'll talk about in the next video, guys. But full moon coming, full strawberry moon Friday, June 21st at 6.17 a.m., guys. So it has already begun, it seems as, right? There you guys go. Now... The end is just the beginning and look at that strawberry, right? It's literally what? <laughs> it's literally the strawberry moon, guys. It's called the strawberry moon, June 21st. So was David Schwartz talking about today? I, I sure hope so, guys, right? And, and guess what happened? So there's a lot, of, uh, lots of events happening, guys, simultaneously because Baba Cooks returns. He says, hello. Wow. And, and he's not leaving, guys, right? So I'll have this uh, link in the description below if you guys would like to check it out further, guys. Wow, so Baba Cooks is most definitely back, guys, right? And just in time for what? Summer Solstice, right? Back right on time for, so it begins. The colors, guys, Solstice, right? It Does it begin now? I hope so. Former Ripple employee confirming that XRP is infinitely scalable guys right and, and and it was meant to scale to seven to nine billion people and people are still worried about all these fuds uh fud attacks we have figured our technology in a way that really fits the problem of cross-border payment liquidity very very well so for the cross-border payment challenge we've created an open internet model we call it the idea interledger mm. so interledger like the internet supports our ripple technology globally and that model does not require a single universal common blockchain it requires a very open blockchain interconnectivity and that means that the volume is theoretically infinite it's not the, the internet never runs out of um, capacity elements do but the internet still works because it's inherently decentralized so ripple is the same so we have a decentralized model which is infinitely scalable supporting that we have our liquidity proposition which uses xrp and that's a classic blockchain but xrp was designed from the outset for transacting so unlike the likes of bitcoin which is like very slow and slows down as you as you continue to build on volume the xrp model is very 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 high speed and very high capacity. So the liquidity part is very adequately served by the XRP model. The wider network we're creating, where if you're really going to create something of value for 7 billion people in the world of 9 billion by 2050. Look at that, guys, right? It's, it's always about, wow, every single on earth, every single person on earth, guys. Um, that's interesting. That's very fascinating because I think it was, no, Arthur Brittle, I'm pretty sure, that stated the same exact thing. Right, 
It needs to be scalable, guys, for the whole pop, the whole world. Not to mention, Brian, Brian Armstrong comes about. This is the next step in getting cross-border transactions as low as one second and a cent, guys. Right? That's as somebody said it. He copied um, Brad Garlinghouse talking points right here. But this, I haven't watched the ad, so let's see it right now. Every month, I have the same problem. Sending money to my grandmother in Mexico. But it feels as if I'm sending it to the moon. Let me explain. This is my grandma Yuya, Yuji or La Yuyis. And as my mom would say, <laughs> And I don't deny it, La Yuyis needs, paints, embroiders, cooks deliciously, and runs. But there's a small inconvenience. Yuya lives far away, 2,555 miles away, in Puebla, Mexico. That's 41 hours by car, 3 days by bus, 255 hours by bike, 953 hours walking, and if there were a direct flight from New York, 6 hours by plane. Because of this, I don't see her as often as I would like. I want to point out, um, what's it called? Brad Garland also say it's faster to send money, taking a pile of cash on a plane, guys, than to send it with the traditional financial system. It's literally broken. Exactly. Which is why we need XRP, literally. And when trying to transfer money from the United States, I basically have two options. The first is to go to a bank, where they take a fee and up to five days to arrive. Then, Yuji goes to the bank and they take another fee. Slow and expensive. No, thank you. For the second one, I get a flight. Back. Wake up at 5 a.m. and go to the airport. Go through security, watch a movie on the flight, some turbulence, and land. Then wait for the luggage. Look for buses from Mexico to Puebla. Take it. Then a final taxi to my grandmother's house. And finally, give her the money. Believe I just said that, guys, right? So they did put in the in the video. I think Regal House was the first I heard it from, though. Interesting. Fit or not, this is faster than a wire transfer, but way more expensive. And ultimately, I can do this every month. What I didn't tell you is that there is a third way. Crypto. With Coinbase Wallet, sending USDC is as quick as sending a text, and it's completely free. If it only came with you just cooking. But here's the difference, okay? You want me to tell you the difference, uh, Brian Armstrong? Is that you need you need a Coinbase Wallet, you need all these sophisticated things, right? Wallets and all, uh, it's, it's, too, it's too hard for the average Joe. Instead, if you change the infrastructure, right, the base pyramid, guys, the, the base of the pyramid, it changes completely so now if you go to a bank and you send money they're sending it through xrp but you don't realize that but it's instantaneously stop it no one else is cracking codes like we are guys right now the reason crypto is becoming a kitchen table issue is because too many families don't think traditional financial system works for them products like uscc transfer and coinbase wallet resonates because they give people a cheaper and more accessible option mm, that's why so many people are, people are turning to crypto right but what if we don't need that? Instead, we change the whole financial system and attack the source. No one else is calling it like us, guys. Please like this video. Thank you. What's up, Bitcoin Maxis, guys? Right, XRPL can tra scale to trillions of transactions per second with the help of ILP and payment channels. Well, you look at that, right? For everything, Ripple customers are literally no retail, but instead, financial institutions, corporates, exchanges, remittance per service providers, central banks, blockchain developers, guys, was Ripple meant for retail or not i think it's a paradox i think both yes and no right this is strange because yes because it it, it, it helps you right sending money right? but you don't even know that that's it that's the thing right but it's not meant for retail because you're not supposed to hold it right it's strange guys nobody else is calling it like us but we got confirmed because g easy has a new song called one day featuring uh leon bridges right bridges in one day hopefully it happens Australian uh, dollar white paper, the AUDD has officially been deployed on the XRP ledger, guys, since January 2023. Exactly. Will everything run on the, on the XRP ledger? I sure hope so. But this 1996 book describes XRP and Ripple almost 30 years ago, right? Where they say that the idea of a single global currency makes sense when paired with a global information infrastructure that can move digital money around easily, each other in new ways. Naturally, all of this will take will all take a while to sort out. Wait, look at that, right? which is XRP Ripple, guys. Come on. It's all about the XRP ledger. So so basically, this integration enables them to send and receive payments seamlessly using Ripple's native digital currency, XRP. Don't we see? And people are still worried. I don't get it. Now, the found tip for today's zero comes from Mr. Zoom. 12 3 equals 621. Right? That's what 1 2 3 means by beat June 2 3, guys. June 21st is 1 21 under three mountains. The summer solstice starts now. Right? So, 
I truly hope today is so it begins God because the community uh, sentiment is completely low right is at new all-time lows guys so I hope things start to have a turning point here soon and I do believe it will guys I do see the Sun shining right now so let's go now on each device my name is so face business see ya